Yes, there is another steel bar in here. And I'm guessing another one there somewhere. Now that I've got all this peel back, this is exactly the same situation as the front seats. I can remove those, slide the heating pad in, and then um, connect them back up. So now I can get in. It would make more sense to do this outside the car, but I can't be bothered. So once again, same as the front seats, you have to trim them down to fit. Okay. Now the other cheap thing about this kit, this kit, the rear seats kit, uh, compared to the previous front seat kit that I bought, um, is this does not come with any of these felt pieces that you can use to um, seal the ends. And that's okay, but it's not very nice. Um, I much prefer sealing the end. So I've got these pieces left over from the front seat kit, so I'm going to use those. Now that's nice and tidy. Okay, so those are both trimmed and sealed on the ends. 
You want the tape side down. That looks good, nice and smooth. Okay, zip ties. Alright, so I have zip tied that all back up and this side here as well. Got these two poking out and I can put those back in that just fits back in there. It pops through here and okay. Next comes the back backrest. Okay, so here's the back of the right hand back seat, and there's this thing here. And the trick here is to leave a, a flat screwdriver to twist this and then eventually you might need another screwdriver to unhook this bit here which eventually flips out which then gives you access to the back of the seat. This is much easier than the bottom of the seat. This one can go in uncut, I believe. Now, before I do this, I'm going to peel these corners. There you go. So I just need to Peel that back and fold it so that I can get to it when I'm halfway down the back of the seat. Right.
think it's folded in this corner here, so I need to try to get an arm in there. Oh. It would help to have someone with small arms. Like an 11 year old child would be perfect. It feels good but I don't know how I'm going to get these stickers off. Um, can I do it from this end? Let's see if this will work. Nope. Nope, that was a bad idea. Now it's crinkled. Got a fold in there. Okay. okay, let's try that again. All good so far. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Bingo. Okay. This one might be a bit easier.
feels good. Feels good up there. There's a bit of a wrinkle here, but I can deal with that. I can feel the edge of it right there. If I can get it a wee bit higher, that would be nice. So I'm not going to try doing the um, taping it down, it's just too hard. Okay, sink elements in place. Um, hopefully that's not going to sag over time. We'll see. If it does, I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, so the next step is putting in all the rest of the wiring loom to the fuse box. And that is for another day. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers! <laughs>